AZ Health Community, Dr. Cobb back with you. Today we're going to be talking about the idea that greatness is practiced. It doesn't just emerge spontaneously. Now, <laughs> why I'm talking about this, there is a fantastic blog post by uh, Daniel Coyle who wrote a beautiful book uh, on talent, okay, called The Talent Code. It's one that we still recommend. He wrote it years ago. We still recommend it because it talks about how excellence is built through excellent repetition and excellent repetition is built through excellent practice habits and <clears throat> as I said it's one of our most powerful books and he recently published a, a, a blog and it's fantastic so I put a link below this video and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause here I want you to pause the video go watch the videos on his on the blog post that he did read it real quick and then come back All right, so you're back. Hopefully you went and watched those videos. You read what he had to say. And what you should have seen is excellent or greatness being practiced uh, intentionally with regularity. And the reason I'm bringing this up is that one of the preeminent things we talk about in our early coursework with our students is something called the SED principle. In human physiology, SED is an acronym that stands for Specific Adaptation to Impose Demand. All right, Specific Adaptation to Impose Demand which basically means that you get better at what you practice. Now, the reason that this is so important to us is that we see tons of people coming into the fitness and, or health and fitness world with really no idea what they want to be good at or with a very clear idea of what they want to be good at thinking that they need to do a lot of other things that other people are doing in order to get good at this one skill. And so I have an exercise I'd like for you to go through because Again, after uh, reading what Coyle had to say and looking at those videos, hopefully you're thinking about this a little bit differently. So the exercise is this. Pull out a sheet of paper and again, set your timer. You're going to need seven minutes today. All right, Seven minutes, set your timer. And what I want you to do is I want you to write down the numbers one, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And I want you to, if possible, list out the last five workouts that you did last five exercise sessions, last five things, whatever it is. And in the middle of those, or beside those, if you wrote, okay, workout one, that was last Monday, and I did some chest work and some shoulder work, and then I got on the, the exercise bike. What I'd like for you to do is look at those workouts and then answer a simple question. Are you making yourself better at things that matter to you? Okay, simple question. Is your practice taking you in the direction that you want it to go? Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, if you're a football player, it doesn't mean that you only have to play football. You may need to do other accessory things. But what I want you to understand is that there is a high degree of specificity in the human nervous system, and that whenever you're training just kind of generally, you're probably going to get kind of general results. So what we always ask our clients to do is set a goal for every training session. Let's say that next week your, your big exercise plan, it's because you're going on vacation, is to relax and walk around. Is there potential for you to train yourself, train your brain, train your eyes, train your inner ear just in walking? Absolutely. Lots of different options. If you've seen our vision gym, our balance gym, we give you moving options for doing exercises. And would improving your vision perhaps improve your walking? Would improve your balance perhaps improve your walking? Yeah. So, like I said, this is kind of a, it's a big topic to consider, but it's a simple question to ask. Am I regularly practicing the things that I want to be good at? Or do I not know what I want to be good at? Because in both cases, what you run into is that you can spend a lot of time getting good at the wrong things. And that's what we will always are trying to help prevent for our clients. So do the exercise. If you have questions about the results, if you're not really sure, you're like, okay, I did these workouts and I think I'm getting better at doing squats and lunges and uh, running on a treadmill, is that really going to carry over to my tennis game, whatever, or are there other options? The honest answer is there's probably other options that we could help you explore, or if you're working with a Z trainer, you need to have a conversation with them about. So do the exercise. If you have questions about it, please let us know. This, again, is one of the most important things we have our athletes do with, uh, on a regular basis because just like these guys up on the wall behind me, they've learned that it is the level of precision that we bring to our practice that really ultimately determines the results that we generate. And so if you're going to invest the time, let's make sure that you're getting out of it what you deserve. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.